Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you'll see, this is the first video that will be going up. For my first one, I think a good idea will be to kind of show you guys, well, I guess kind of both. It was just gonna be me doing my makeup, but then I was like, I've been at work all day and my face is quite like, uh, oily and stuff because all the makeup's kind of starting to kind of come off now So I thought why not do it for you guys so you can have a look So I'm also gonna take it off and show you guys my skincare routine I will say that I am um, like I used to be a makeup artist I was a makeup artist for like eight years I'm here in Ireland working on like films and stuff like that But uh, and I worked briefly in Urban Decay and stuff for a bit But I wouldn't call myself a makeup artist now. I'm not a makeup artist now I'm just a person who likes makeup, um, but my friend uh, Sarah she's fantastic at makeup and she knows all about the, sk the skincare stuff, so is my friend Rhiannon. And they basically kind of gave me kind of a bunch of stuff that just to order. And I was just kind of like, what is it? And I just don't know. So I trust them that this stuff's good because it's making my skin pretty great. So I'm going to show you guys me taking off this makeup and then redoing a nicer, better makeup. The first thing I'll have to do is take my glasses off. So I'm not going to be able to see the camera anymore. Yeah, now I'm basically blind. I'm gonna take my cotton pads and my Jeffree Star mirror, of course, and we're gonna take off. Oh, you can see how gross it's gotten just from like all day with my glasses on and stuff. So we're gonna, oh, it's I'm very, it's very risky me just like revealing my true self in my first video. Like, hey, watch me take my makeup off. It's great fun. So I will let you guys know that I'm using, um, I think it's called micellar water, micellar, micellar, micellar water. This is from Aldi, it's great. It has a, like a little pump action on it, it's great. So you can just, see, it's great. I use Makeup Revolution stuff. I needed to get stuff that was like cheap, but still like pretty good. So I'll show you the ones here. Hey, there it is. Yeah, that's what I use, uh, toner. And then I use this like serum thing. Bear in mind now, I have no idea what any of this stuff does. I have no idea what any of the words, uh, not niacinamide, niacinamide, mead, niacinamide, Gly glyconic. Oh, I can say glyconic, what she's saying? Ah, where, can you see, oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 you can see my red face just like looming behind and then that for after. So that's like the like, how I do it. Again, told by my friend, I have no idea. I never got into like the skincare part, which I really should have considering I had so many spots growing up. Um, and now it's like surprising that like my face, bear in mind I have rosacea. So my face is really, really red. I used to use the La Roche-Posay red face cream, whatever it's called. And that was great. That really helped with the rosacea, but I haven't been able to afford it because it's really expensive. I've just been making do with other stuff. And this stuff was really like, pretty cheap, which is great because it's really nice as well. So I'm going to remove my vision. Oh my God, my face. I can't, I, bear in mind, I can't see. I can see the camera and I can see the lights and stuff, but I can't see my small image in the, in the thing. So to me, to me, it just looks like a red blob talking. <laughs> I'm doing the serum now. Let's do the thing that they all do, where they dribble it down their face for no reason. And I will say, guys, uh, definitely hit the subscribe because the next video I'll be putting up is a review of Jeffree Star's Bloodlust Palette. Super excited for that. And hit the subscribe button if you if you want to see more videos from myself. I'll be doing loads of different types, as you, as you would have seen from the from the thing. Oh, I never talked about my eye cream. Uh, my eye cream is from Aldi. Um, <laughs> Oh god, all the Irish people are cringing right now. My eye cream is from Aldi. Um, it's actually really nice. Bear in mind, again, no clue what it's supposed to do. And if it does the thing that it's supposed to do, it just feels kind of nice. This is it. Again, uh, can can you see that? I can't. It's like shia, 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 shia butter and coconut oil. Shia butter oil and coconut paste. Now I'm going to, so I used the serum, so now I'm using the, the moisturizer um, on my face. I use uh, um, this this little guy. It's from Catrice. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Well, it's basically just like a kind of a cream. Everything I have is the lightest shade. So hard to find pale makeup in Ireland. Oh my God. As you guys know, trying to find like 
proper brands in Ireland because we don't have a Sephora or anything like that is really difficult. So if you are someone like me who's really pale and wants to stay pale and doesn't want a fake tan or anything, you're gonna have so much trouble finding a foundation. The only place that I can go to find a color that'll match my skin is Urban Decay and that is not, first of all, not even pale enough and second of all, it's expensive, it's not cheap. So I went online and got Makeup Revolution which was a 10 inch, just grand. It's been so annoying, like I can never find a shade light enough. But unless I have to go online and now oh, I found one, but trying to just find one in a regular store and get shade matched is so difficult I have to like risk it. I'm gonna take the Catrice cream and I put this underneath my eyes as like a base. Again, as I said, I don't really use primer guys because I don't really find it does anything. Maybe I'm just using the wrong primers. Let me know down below what's a good primer for oily skin that's really red. So there we go. And then I'm going to take my foundation. So it comes on like this really hefty, like thick applicator. It's like a giant concealer pretty much. Um, and I'm just gonna put that everywhere. Beauty blender, which is kind of in bits. I kind of get a, need, need, to get a need, 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 need to get a new one. Oh my God, it went from, cause again, can't see. It's gone from it being like this red beacon to like this ghostly face. And then I'm gonna get the concealer. So what I do is I take my beauty blender and I kind of go into it like this. Go kind of squish it down real small and kind of rub into it and then I go underneath my eyes and like I dab and then uh, You guessed it. I go back over it again with more concealer So now I'm gonna take my white powder. That's from I don't know. Let me let me show you guys. It's not great It's actually cracked down the center. I think it's from Catrice Just taking a regular poofy brush again powder one thing that loose powder is very hard to find That isn't yellow because everyone wants to be tan apparently now in Ireland trying to find powder that isn't orange or brown in any way is really difficult the brand Catrice does this white powder and it's really cheap and it works grand. I did try some loose powder recently. I might try it again for you guys and we can have a little see if you like. It's from this brand called Melissa Carter. Almost everyone doesn't know who that is. So Ireland is great for having these really random brands in these like tiny stores. So now I'm gonna do some contour. So I am using, it was actually pretty great actually. So when I bought my Makeup Revolution skincare, it came with like two free palettes. So I got two free palettes with it. it was it's great. One is called Kind Heart. It's all scratched up on the outside, but it's a makeup palette and it's actually pretty decent. Like I've used it like a little bit and it's pretty decent. It's not like it's like I know makeup relations are pretty good in general, but I'm like, I got a free decent palette. And then the other one is a contour palette, which is great because I actually don't have a contour palette. So I was like, oh, wonderful. Like, oh, I, I needed this. So I'm gonna take the like almost the palish. This one, the second darkest uh, color and a big poofy brush and I'm just gonna contour. And then I go back in with my white and kind of, as Jeffree Star calls it, veil it a little bit. Just to make this, also to make this white, this portion of my face down here a bit more wider to kind of contrast. But I basically, I use Sleek, the Sleek highlighter. Now I'm gonna show you the inside and you're gonna be disappointed in me that this is the one that I still use, but this is the inside and oh, it's quite bad. Uh, basically, I just get like a kind of a curved poofy brush. Again, these are all these are all brushes from Little. They're great. I highly recommend them. The Little has kind of like this beauty section. It has kind of like makeup sponges and, and like a lot of my a lot of my new brushes are from there because brushes are expensive. Everything is expensive. So I'm basically just taking this curved brush and just dipping into like what's left of the pale shade and the kind of pinky shade. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is blush. The This is basically the blush that I use and it's from Rimmel London. And I chose this one because I really, my mom used to have it or my mom had it. This is it here, if it focuses, and I use this color right here. So I actually don't use the other two, but I'm basically taking like a little dome shaped brush and I'm gonna just kind of smile and add some color. Yeah, so that's my face makeup. And now I'm going to go on to eyebrows. So guys, I use, again, I use all the brushes from uh, from Little, but I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Promade and I'm using it in tote. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I love how you use such little of this. And then I outline them with, with my concealer. I just use another angled tip brush to do this with because I find it gets the nicest kind of swipe. And now, oh, now onto the fun part. So now we're gonna be opening up Mrs. Conspiracy here. This is the beautiful, the beautiful Conspiracy palette from Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. So I think I'm gonna take the Trisha 
I'm gonna take Trisha here and I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes, like just right under my uh, waterline. And now I need to pick a top color. I think I'm gonna dip into, uh, not a fact. So I'll show you this one. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. So I'm gonna put that in kind of like the crease of my eye. And now I'm going to take sleep paralysis, which is right beside it. I can't see my brush. Where am I pointing? Yeah, let me. This one, lovely. And I'm going to go in over the, over the color I did with uh, in this with this in my crease. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it just makes it look a little bit like shinier and a little bit nicer. Great, I'm also gonna, again, after I clean my finger, I'm gonna take the Diet Cola and I'm gonna put that on the base of my eye. Again, just using my pinky, this is how, this is how it works best. Yeah, and then I'm going to uh, go in with Ranch, put that in the inner corner. So now I'm just gonna use an eyeliner and my hand's covered in shimmer and I'm gonna do my inner waterline. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I use the Glam Eyes from Limo London and I really like the formula. How easy it is to work and now I have to stop talking because I can't do both of these at the same time. Okay, that's adequate. Contrary to the belief of doing both of the eyes at the same time, I very much like to finish one eye completely first just so I can have a kind of end result look. I like, it should look like that. And I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash, recommended by Jeffree Star, and I use a little mini one because it's cheaper. We're all about balling on a budget over here. Now I know what you, some of y'all are thinking that this is a very glam look for work, but this is just kind of like me every day. I like doing makeup to this extent like every day because I just really enjoy it. The wing is very mediocre and I prefer if you all were to not judge me on it. Now, what you guys usually expect at this stage of a makeup thing is lipstick and I just do not wear lipstick so I'm gonna go in with a fat piece of Carmex and just get it in there. Lipstick, I don't know, it just doesn't suit my lips. I don't think I have a face shape to suit it. I don't think, I don't, just don't think it would suit me. I just don't think it suits me. So that is me done. So all I need to do is, hang on, I just need to just, uh, lovely. So what do you guys think? So this is kind of, this is my like every day. Let me know down below guys, if you like this video, what your favorite part is, or if you use any of the same products as me, or if you have anything to recommend to help me with my under eye situation or my red skin, that's like relatively cheap. We're all about trying to get stuff cheap here. There is, it is nice to kind of get some cool kind of stuff that's like a bit more expensive, but I mainly focus on the kind of cheaper stuff. Let me know down below guys what you think and definitely hit the like button to let me know that you do like it as well. That'd be fantastic. And hit the subscribe button as well guys, so you can see when I post new videos and hit the notification bell. That'll probably work better. I know this is the first one, but there'll be many more to come. As I said, the next video coming shall be Bloodlust review, I guess, or just try out. We're gonna do, do some wacky looks with it. And then in the future, uh, if you guys have watched my channel trailer, you'll see that we're gonna do stuff to do with Korea and kind of Asian food and Asian drinks and stuff like that, as well as some kind of crafty bits. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys stick around. I hope you liked my makeup video today me just kind of ruining taking it all off and then starting again so hopefully guys i'll see you all in the next video